What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this Gen Y Phantom X stacked receiver adjustable ball mount. So what this is going to allow you to do is if you have trailers of different sizes mesh up to your truck, you can just easily move the ball to one of the different receivers and adjust that height. Let's check it out. It's really easy to adjust the height of your ball mount. So you're just going to turn the clip, pull it off, remove the pin, and now you can move it up and down and adjust the height you need. So you're gonna have seven and a half inches of rise and drop with this. So right now we're in the drop position with most of the assembly being down here. And then we can actually pull the clip and pin up here at the hitch level, turn around and put it in the rise position. Now it does fit a two inch by two inch hitch. We have a reducer on our two and a half inch here today so that it is, makes it a two inch hitch. Line that up. Replace our pin in the hitch. It also doesn't come with its own hitch pin, so you have to get one yourself. And then it's in the rise position where you can adjust the ball for a higher trailer setting. As I mentioned before, it does not come with its own hitch pin, so I have to pick one up separately. I recommend getting a locking hitch pin. Infinite Rule makes something you can get that's going to work here in the hitch and in the assembly as well, so that way you can lock the whole thing to your hitch and then keep the accessory in place too when you're not around. You won't get a ball with this assembly either. You'll have to buy that separately. Just make sure you have one that has a diameter of one inch so it fits in the opening of the accessory. Then you're going to put the lock washer and nut on and torque it down to specifications. Another recommendation would be another accessory from Gen Y. It's going to be the dual ball setup. So this is going to work just like the standard ball accessory we have, except now all in one, you have a two inch and then a two and five sixteenths inch. So you have two different size couplers on two different trailers. You don't have to have two of these in the back of your truck. You have this setup. You don't also have to tighten anything down or torque it. It's all ready to go once you pin it. One nice thing is the receiver is offset. So we have one that's above. So if you have slide adjustments to make, you can either put the ball here or up one. You don't have to flip the whole assembly every time for a slide adjustment. I like that. The whole thing's gonna be made out of sturdy steel construction with a black powder coat finish on there. So if you leave it out in the elements, you don't have to worry about it rusting or corroding. Overall, I like how easy it is to use the adjustable ball mount. You just remove that clip and the pin, move it up and down, get that height adjustment just right. There are other options out there when it comes to adjustable ball mounts, though. There is also the B&W Toe & Stow. That one's going to stay in line, so it doesn't have all the receivers. It moves up and down along the assembly, and it can also go flip up under the truck. So if this is something you're going to leave in the back of your hitch all the time. You don't want it sticking out. You can get that option so you don't hit your shin on this or just run into it when you're not using it. Now, Gen Y also has their own version of that. It's another Phantom that flips up underneath, so I suggest checking out that one as well if you want to stay with the Gen Y sturdy design and still get this out of the way when not in use. That is an option as well. well I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helps.